bit more agile and the sort of um, implementation of an operational team inside of Atlassian for our Atlassian On Demand, our SaaS offering. But before I get on with that, who here has been watching the cricket? Yeah, excellent. Pretty dismal sort of effort by Australia, but um, hopefully we can pick it up in Hyderabad in a bit. So carrying on, I mentioned I am from Atlassian. So does anyone here actually use the Atlassian products day to day? Excellent. Pretty good showing. Yep. We got sort of the major ones, Confluence, Jira, Greenhopper, Fisheye, those guys, all available from um, our Atlassian On Demand offering. But I'm not going to um, sort of hype on too much about our products. I just want to tell you about the processes and changes we've made to sort of increase our efficiency in um, production. So before we go on, a little bit about me. Sorry, I might just move this more. There we go. A little bit about me. I'm a development team lead at Atlassian, so we've got a small team of guys working on our Atlassian on-demand offering. That's our SaaS offering. We currently have about 26,000 customers on this platform that's about 18 months old, and we run about 70,000, just shy of 70,000 JVMs. So it's um, really cool. It's really high scale, which is something I really dig. Um, we built, well, my team built the current deployment infrastructure we use for that, so um, pushing new releases to production, and we really sort of, in, um, sort of smooth that pipeline and increase the speed we can push sort of new features to customers. And I'm always keen on improving the development pipeline. Also, my Twitter handle's there, so if anyone wants to follow my work account on Twitter. So the things I want to cover today are operations at Atlassian, how we handle sort of ops, Granted, this platform we use for SaaS is only 18 months old. We did have a SaaS offering prior to that, but that was by a third-party vendor. So this is the sort of first time we've done it completely in-house. And we've had this operations team, relatively young, only 18 months old, so we're still learning. And I'll go over a few of the things we've learned um, from that. Our development cycle, how that's improved um, sort of in relation to the hosted aspect. Um, it used to be extremely brittle, and I'll, I'll go over it in more detail how it used to be, but um, sort of we've made a number of improvements there how we actually handle, actually handle deployments. Um, I love talking about deployments. I love talking about pushing code out and getting these new features in front of customers. And um, I won't harp on too much about it today, but afterwards, if anyone wants to talk to me about it, I'm more than keen to. And of course, the feedback loop. And this is probably the most crucial part of it. It's taking what we learn during the deployment process and the development process and feeding that back into our um, teams, into our process, to sort of remove any of the friction there, to remove any of the sharp edges we have for um, actually getting these features out to customers. So I've mentioned Atlassian On Demand a little bit um, already.